You know, I look at metabolic alterations in tumor progression, and uh, the idea is to see what are the metabolic uh, biochemical changes that happen when the tumor develops and progresses further. Before you can get into a systems perspective to look at cancer, you need to understand cancer from, you know, from the metabolic aspect, which has really not been done much, much, not much has been done in this field. My goal would be to see if I can uh, at least, we can at least develop a uh, phase one kind of a biomarker panel um, that can help detect urological tumors, specifically prostate tumors in, let's say, a non-invasive fluid like urine. The second one would be to see if we could come up with certain markers that can predict the you know, progression of the disease. What we have found so far is there is definitely certain specific metabolic alterations that happen in tumor progression. It, with respect to prostate, we found that the process of amino acid biosynthesis and uh, methylation are two, of the two important things that happen when cancer, prostate cancer develops and progresses further. It's very innovative. Every day you find something new. So, you know, it's, it, it kind of gives me uh, the satisfaction and, and, and the challenge to think every day. The important issue is that uh, even though a subpopulation of the tumor records and becomes aggressive, uh, it's important to know what, what, that, what are the causal factors that lead to, me, you know, lead to that kind of a aggressive tumor because there at that point uh, the therapeutic options are limited. There's a lot of positives working here. Everyone in this, area, in this center is new, so there's a lot of collaboration there. Uh, the clinical staff, you know, it's easy to access the clinical staff. So I think there's uh, there are positives, a lot of positives. I find people in my own, uh, you know, age group who are pretty enthusiastic, and we, we, we get along very well and talk talk to each other pretty well. You know, both at the clinical side as well as in the research side.